Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Alex Antuna. Today we're going to look at this alien creature that I've started in ZBrush. And for those who are probably just clicking on this video, trying to figure out what's going on. I had started in ZBrush and did a sculpt. There's some other videos out there, the process of making this. But what I did is dropped it into Marmoset Tool Bag. And what we get here. I set up some cameras last video and we got some lighting. So I'm going to go ahead and lock these cameras right here. You can lock that. Looks like you can lock everything else. So lock this. So we don't move it. If I if I go in here and so say for instance I go into camera and I'll try to move it, it won't let me go to the next one. See, so if I'm already fixed in here, I don't have to adjust it. I might need to adjust it anyway because my aspect ratio if I were to go to full screen or anything like that or if I were to close this down you'll see that it, it's not gonna be you know, like just going to render and stuff like that so right now it's at using ray trace and turn that off you can see what it's got right here a little bit of that ambient occlusion if I want to get a little bit more um, detail in here let's go ahead and go that route let's go let's do this so what we can do is we've got the body selected and I can actually create a new texture project right here. I'm gonna create one. We can, you can name it. It's good to name things. Body and underscore body. We've got that. So now we've got a texture project, but it doesn't point to anything. So what we need to do is drop the material that's applied to this body into that. So I'm gonna grab this, drag it all the way down here. And it says where it says drag and drop, drag and drop materials here. I'm gonna release now we got the body in there you can apply more than one but what this did is made this texture body into a paint ob paint project so what I want to do is like if so if I were to go in here you can actually paint so if I grab the paintbrush and I wanna just a quick example if I want to draw on his face you can draw on his face, you can give him a tattoo or whatever you want to do. Right click here, clear content. I don't really want to do that. I just kind of want to, I don't know. Let's see what we can give him. If there's anything else that's uh, in this. Let's go to creature. Let's see what's in here. Um, creature folder. Not really anything that I could use. Let's go to human. And you've got this flesh rotten. If I really wanted to, I could um, bring that in and then mask it off. So let me let me drag it in here for an example. I'm gonna drag it in. And you'll see once it's on there that it'll have uh, different parameters. You got triplanar, you can use your UVs. So if I were to do UV map, it would show on there. Um, let's see if I can drag this up a little bit more. So, go to Triplaner. I need my UV map. Where'd you go? I don't see it. So, let's click on here. Texture. I don't know where it went. I kind of lost it. I'll find it eventually. <clears throat> so let's click on this, and then you can actually see if I toggle it off. It gives it a little bit of that Freddy Cougarness, don't it? Little little Nightmare on Elm Street. See that? Just a little little touch. But if I don't want it everywhere, it's not a bad thing to have. But if I don't want it everywhere, or we if we want to drop the opacity, just to give a little little bit of that. See that? There you go. Ooh, I might not want it everywhere, so let's do this. Let's drag this up. And we can even bump contrast. Look at that. We can up and down. So we can reset it. We can even change the color of this material. This is where... some interesting stuff 
And I don't know if that's something I want to do is go too far. It kind of takes away from it, but I love this fleshy, fleshy Freddy Cougar look. Roughness. We don't really need all the other stuff. I just want the normal, the bump, maybe the AO. So if I turn those two off, we can probably keep true to what was originally there. If I'd like to add a mask, I'm going to click this and we're going to paint black. So it's going to take everything off. So this already is black, so it pretty much masked all of that. I'm going to grab my Wacom pen. We're going to paint back in some of that detail. So this is where you can kind of give some of it back. I'm going to scale up the brush. Give a little bit more and paint that in. So now I can do a um, tool settings. I have a little fall off so it's not so harsh. I can actually adjust my flow so it's not so harsh. And just kind of pick and choose where I want this to be. And then we can go here. Uh, I'm going to turn off the spray trace so I can actually just get in there and just get a little bit of that start to see some of that flesh coming in and I don't really want it too heavy so we're gonna drop all this down just just a little bit see that now you got a little bit more interesting stuff going on pretty cool break up some of his face and this is not the only spot I have to put this too, but I kind of want his brain to rot it out. Still looks like pumpkin head, alien, kind of mixture of, uh, of all that stuff. Just kind of play around with that. Just a little in between. I do want to pull in the ambient occlusion, so let's go to there. The little paint area I could pull in the oh, I already did it already spotted that <clears throat> I could render a curvature from ZBrush and here's a quick example we'll go back to this model let's go to we can clone it just so that we don't mess the original up and go to this clone this made a duplicate next to it turn off this poly paint Turn off any colors. We'll go flat color. So we can just see it for the flat color. And mask. I'm probably looking right at it, aren't I? Oh, I can't even think. Let's change this. <laughs> That's a little too much. Um, where'd you go, mask? Masking is right in front of me. And cavity. Mask by cavity. So there's that. I don't know if I like that. Let's up. Let's go all the way down, all the way up. Mask by cavity. And I don't want that too intense. We're, we're gonna make it just enough. Uh -huh. 75. Mask by cavity. Get a little bit of that extra little skin detail that I probably would have lost or did lose let's crank it to a hundred cavity so now what I can do is go to texture create oh create new for masking let's go new for masking let's see how this looks and yes and I did it the hard way the other day I think I did it with the poly paint because they gave me true white so let's see if this makes it true white if I do this. New from masking. Yeah, I don't think it really did a big difference. This is probably the that cavity working on it. So we'll just save it. We're gonna clone. You can see how it goes. And I'm gonna flip it on the the V. And let's export that. Export. Boom. Where did I put my textures? FBX and PNG. So cavity. Right. Cavity. Yeah. Go 
there. Let's go back here and we're gonna drop in curvature. It really wasn't a curvature map, was it? But I do like that cavity. Let's see if it had the curvature in there. Masking. I would think the cavity be just enough. That should work. Let's try it. If it doesn't work, it's whatever. Cavity, curvature, all this stuff adds up. So let's go ahead and do a occlusion. Look at that. That's cool. It's a little too much, I know, but like you can you can start to see. All right, so let's turn all this off. Just give a little more accent inside of there. They can multiply. I wonder what else that gave. Oh yeah. Look at that. Off, on. Ooh, buddy. Let's just let's see. Off, on. Just a little. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more of that. That detail. Let's see what the other ones did. Albedo. A little too much. I don't need that. Intensity. I don't need that either. I think it was good where it was at. That was just enough. Just enough to make it pop. Give a little a little craziness to it. Let's go to our camera. There we go. He lost some of that shine, that sleepness to him. Can kind of get that back. So let's go to his main material and find that roughness and what I think happened is something overrode in here so that's all in there that's all in there it's pulling a material back into itself oh Maybe I did generate something. I don't remember generating a roughness, but I don't want a roughness. Let's take that off. There we go. A little bit more. Did a material, and I think that has to do with because I did the um, the layer. It probably needed something there. So I don't, I don't want it to generate something there. So we got a little bit of that. We can keep on adding details to this stuff, the stuff, the little veins that are coming out of his face. I could even do this. I could even copy what I've got here and put it in there, but I don't really care to do that. It's just kind of like, this is the final touches that you'll probably do if I want to move the lighting. We're going to move into the lighting and start trying to see if we can pop some of this this look. Look at that. I like where the light is right there because it gets picks up his eye. His highlights. So we got that sun going there. Let's go ahead and play with the lighting. Let's get a little more involved with this. So we got the front lighting. That would be in here. So let's see how it looks. That could be a backlit, and then this front. We can turn this a little more um, intense, and then we can even change that. I like the blue. I've always go with that movie poster, back and forth. Blue. So now you kind of got the the front, the back, and let's trim off some of that back. We want them to just be highlights there. Now I might do a uh, one more light. The other thing we can do is check this out. So we'll split the view and go to perspective. So the other thing. So these are the lights. 
that's one that's the other so I can actually grab you can actually move your lights around in here that's the front it's just kind of rotating with it and that's the back and that one doesn't look like you can see barely that little um, I don't know if you can see it on the screen there's like a little bit of a light coming off of that so we're gonna do one more on this side and what I'm gonna do is go in here and we'll click on something in the environment to kind of keep that maybe that green color so you'll see there's gonna be a green light now in here I'm gonna grab it with my control let's move it over to this side and we can rotate it move it around see that little you can barely see it I don't know if you can see it on your end but we're gonna have like a little bit of three point kind of here I should do this one a little bit further up to get that true three-point lighting one there and then one here and we could always change the colors around we can even do this watch see it it's moving around with the environment well we're sticking with a little bit of a three-point lighting setup it over change the color let's increase this to be more intense we can pop it up just to see where it's at see see it's just kind of like he's going towards some flame and at this point I kind of dropped my references but it kind of highlights his mouth and his teeth and all that subsurface scattering the back I don't know if that's too much let's, let's just let's tease it and that back almost should be like let's play with it let's see get a little more intense So you go that route, bump up the brightness. Kind of changes the whole look. I don't know if I like that. But while we're here, we just give it a little tease. So you got your cold to warm. And then let's just kind of play with this one, wherever that one's at. That one almost could be off. Let's give it some more highlight. So let's give it a little warm to cold. Just keep it where it was. And then this highlight I like because it's picking up his eye. And you kind of got that flesh on this part. What I don't know if I want is that back piece to be warm With that blue kind of give it that alien cold a cold planet kind of coming out when the, the researchers are shining a flashlight at him something but it's kind of varied him up so let's pick that up I like this color color copy go into here paste and then what I'm gonna do is move this light and let's go to transform there's a little transform here and we can move it we can move it over under but let's see what we got you can rotate it a little 
almost wouldn't mind shining up you know there you go a little bit of that a little bit of that we'll drop this down so it's not that subsurface on his neck looks like some of the like it's like it's breathing too but it's like alien and so what we can do is even if we wanted to increase some of this stuff pop that and go from there uh, what else can we do we've got this we got let's look at our second shot and see if it just carries over that's just a different shot completely but eh, come back to that later this is already kind of framed in let me go ahead and start pulling in some uh, interesting stuff with it um, let me see what we can pull in. We can add in some fog. Do we want fog? Do we even want a backdrop? I don't need a backdrop. I like that little glow, but the fog might. Let's try it. Let's see what the fog does. Let's see if I can vary it up. So now you got a little more haze. Probably kick that distance off just enough. And opacity. And then let's see. That's what I like about real time. You can actually kind of see what you're doing. to kill that feeling that we got there's that just a touch right you can always push and pull with the lighting in a bit um, see what else we got we got that let's go to the camera this is where we start playing around with some of this you get your render you can increase some of the bounces but I don't know if it'll slow down um, a system We'll stick with one for now. When I render, I'll probably go higher. Um, Denoise. GPU. What else we got? Occlusion. I don't know if it'll break it. Let's see. Didn't really do much. Let's see. Oh, we got screen or traced. Let's see if that pops anything extra just a little bit ray distance ray trace distance let's go to I don't know what scale this is at probably millimeters just kind of play around till you get that feeling if it worked <laughs> shadow offset I don't want to mess with shadows and these are the exports this is where I will save out when I'm done so that was more of the render setting so to toggle it off you get that it gets it gets kind of crazy messy right because if I go in here turn all this stuff off you might see a little different stuff something's overriding somewhere it's my mask That's that, but I guess I need a fill. Do a fill layer. It's odd. Something between here and there, and I don't know if it's this curvature. Ayo. But it looks fine when I turn on this, so I'm okay. And that's probably some of it when you go into the scatter depth. It's probably a big chunk of that but I don't really want to mess with that this is where it's gonna be anyway let's go on to the next part so my camera where we're at where are we at camera let's see 
I can't adjust anything, so I gotta lock. Let me uncheck it. Boom. All these settings. What do we got? What do we got? We got the field of view 28. It's not bad. We'll give it a round number 25. 25. Maybe 30. Yeah, we can go with 30. The focus. So, the other thing is. Mm -hmm. Let me see what we got in here. We got our view limits. I don't need to mess with that. But save frame right here. Let's see. This is our lens because on our render, if you go here, you should see this is our aspect ratio, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Let's see. out and it's kind of right there just want to kind of teasing right there let's go back to the camera and we got that we go to focus we can turn on a little um, depth of field and then what I can do is use the click the middle click mouse click and then we can actually increase this so kind of low so kind of give them a little more I don't want to go so far that we lose any detail that I did so if I turn it off you still kind of get between here and there it's not so much to where you just kind of just lose some of the shoulder just kind of give you some of that depth we got the flare do we is there anything in here to flare no <laughs> so it doesn't I'm not gonna worry about that um, nothing's moving distortion we can always distort it but I don't need to distort anything okay this is where we can start to I'll go with Reinhard and see what we get Ooh, see it's a little bit in my playground out there it's a little low it's not too bad. Start to play with some of this. Play with these curves. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go this way and just play with the curves from here. You get about the same kind of world. You don't want to lose too much. Okay. And let's see something real quick. If I can get that darker brightness, let's see if it makes. No, let's undo that. I like to where it was. Going back in here, you can kind of see that I'm just kind of experimenting with. The feeling, the mood. And the other thing is, I'll, I'll touch on this in a minute. Um, let me just kind of go back and forth. You can go to presets. And so if you're always in a hurry or if you're trying to get stuff out, look at that. It looks awesome. I always love black and white. I'm, I'm, like if I didn't have to use color, this works okay. Can I guess that? Feel. Yeah, that's my playground right there. I like that. I can bump up the exposure right there. Just go through each one. A little too glowy. I don't. I don't want that to make. I don't want it to feel like I gotta rub my eyes and say like, yeah, "Am I seeing straight?" That's not too bad to take out too much. Let's go back to the one the one where was he at I think it was this one right here I think I'm happy right here this is this is about where it's at it's got the got the vibe got the just a little bit and let's see if this clarity uh, go 
up contrast let's kind of there you go you can start to see this flesh is fleshy right turns the brain brain mush but I don't know if I want it too much that is an interesting look though he's kind of like got like a brain brainy look saturation this is this is the balancing act little little bit in between not too far not too uh not too much where we were and even after this we can pop it into photoshop and go from there really um i don't want this too sharp because you go like that it looks looks process too much we got the bloom uh, I don't know if I want the bloom just 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 a little because the lens we got a cheap lens is what it is right just cheap 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 and then the vignette let's vignette it oh yeah bring it in let's bring it in bring it in I'll just change everything let me see too much vignette like whatever color it was doing let's pop that straight okay gives a little highlight on this spot and then the grain do we want some film just just a little bit to get that scary monster scary monster feel dirty ooh too much dirt intensity and see how dirty it gets like a old scary movie I don't really need all that. I don't want. I don't want the point one. There we go. And I think we're gonna call this done. I'm gonna drop the camera just a little, just just lightly, so that his head isn't clipping. But we've got enough left to right going on, and there's one shot. So. You kind of saw the process of going back and forth. Um, not sure why it got so fleshy whenever we went to this. Uh, when I included it in there. Maybe something... Maybe something is... Um, took it over. I don't know. It's always one of those things. I could have moved one setting. And it could have just not liked what I did. Albedo, something to do with it here. And really, if you really want to, it's just, I know it's like last last part of the video, you can change its color. You don't have to stick with the same, same thing. You can, you can change it up, make him a green, green monster and then change all his other parts, but kind of like where he's at. Um, I don't know if I went too harsh with this or if it's in here and I can turn that off we're at 178 let's see I think it's a lot to do with this and the lighting you know, so I think it's 178 and then your fuzz so but hopefully this was an informative little kind of back and forth we went from um, ZBrush brought our monster in and actually kind of went from there got them all processed and we dropped them in tool bag and then this is what we get kind of like it's got like a little bit of field and this you don't have to stop here and I probably won't stop here I'm probably gonna do a few more revisions but for this little lunchtime video I'd like to just kind of, I was just kind of showing the process for anybody interested in going from ZBrush to Marmoset tool bag and what I'll probably do in my free time, I'll probably duplicate this because I like this style and this lighting look and go to my second camera. And really, to be honest, like if I went to my second camera, um, we got we got some work we got to do, right? We got to unlock it. Uh, I think, let's see. So he could be even right here and then go from there. We we'll lock our safe frame. If I really want to, I can duplicate this sun and sky, and I'm gonna do this quick, real quick. But I can rotate it around 
and get a different look and you got another kind of um, look at it or something else I can do I'm just showing before I sign off um, we can just drop in a preset and go go with the another look and now we got a black and white I can pop and drop the exposure get a little bit there and back and forth I do kind of lose something when the lighting is it correct you can see that it's not not giving me that creature look that I was wanting so uh, yeah it's this pretty much where it's at so I'm gonna go back to the first camera and I lost it what did I lose <laughs> redo let me redo 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 I lost my um, whatchamacallit undo there we go so that was the other lesson uh, hopefully you learn don't forget to save so <laughs> with because you saw everything disappear and that's how it goes usually you're like I don't know why it disappeared and you'd be working for like a trying to go forward and you realize something's gone so yeah save when you can same save anytime you uh, think you don't need to save anyway so Hopefully everybody's doing well. I'm going to go ahead and call this one done, stamped on it, and move on to the next model. So hope you, you know, found this informative and, you know, have a good day. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Later.